Okay, so here we are. We're gonna be performing a 12 lead EKG on our patient. Again, we verified the, the order or the prescription for the 12 lead EKG. We just make sure we wanna double check the patient's history, medical history, to say that this is indicated for the patient. So as always, I enter the room and I'm going to be washing my hands. I'm going to be introducing who I am, providing for privacy, and also um, verifying the identification of my patient using two um, identifiers. When I come into the room, I'm going to um, tell the patient that we are going to be doing an EKG, electrocardiogram, which um, measures the electrical activity of the heart. And I will be putting some sticky patches on your chest wall, also on your um, lower legs and then I'll be hooking up to some wires and then I'm going to be doing what we call an electrocardiogram tracing which can kind of give us a, a visual picture of the electrical activity of your heart and then make sure you answer any questions that your patient may have. Then I'm going to have to expose the patient so carefully expose the patient on the chest wall and then down to the shin area and if tolerated, they should be lying supine. Okay, and then also um, we can start doing this one first here so we don't have to expose everything at first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the gown up here so I can locate your chest area. All right. And again, make sure that if the patient um, has any moisture, that you're, you know, washing that off, or you're and, and drying that as well, so that the the leads can or, or the patches can stick to the skin. Also, if there is any um, hair that is interfering, make sure that we can clip that or try to find an area close to where we're going that won't interfere with that. But typically, if we have to clip the hair, we we should so that we have good conduction of our electrodes. All right, so now that I have the patient in the appropriate position, I'm going to go ahead and access my electrodes. Okay. All right, so again, we're going to be going um, the right upper and the left upper near that um, humeral joint to the shoulder and placing our Joys on that. We have a little bit of stickiness here. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to find the um, fourth intercostal space, both on the right and left of the sternum. So you count down four, place our V1 there, and then our V2 will be in the fourth intercostal to the left of the sternal border. And then we're going to have, we're gonna place um, V4 in the um, fifth intercostal space. mid clavicular so right here clavicular mid and then we're going to place v3 in between our v2 and v4 and then we're going to find our v6 which is mid axillary so in the mid axillary line and then our v5 is going to be equal to the um, B6. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our lower extremities for our ground leads. So we'll place one on the left and the right shin. Okay. And then once we have all of our electrodes placed, we can go ahead and hook up to the EKG wires. Again, I'm gonna to have to expose the patient. So I'll first do the lower leads here so I don't have to go all the way up there. So 
we have our leftover. And then we'll have, and all of these are again listed on there. Okay. Oh, trying to reach here. here. So this would go on here like that. So then we're just gonna cover that up for now and go ahead and put our V leads on and our right and left upper arm. Okay. So I'm just gonna do my V leads here. V4. And then our V3. And then our V2 and V6. And then for our um, right and left ex upper extremity, complete those. All right. So once we have all of our electrodes on, we have the patient tell the patient to lay as still as possible, and then we can go ahead and generate our report. Um, when the patients, um, when we're done generating our report, our patient, and we look at it, it looks to be a good reading, then we can go ahead and tell the patient that we are done performing our EKG and we can complete that task.